I must have died and gone to heaven. It was quarter past 11 and I was still stuck in this fucking studio <laughs> making videos for a show called Is It? Very good. That was like Hong Kong Fui, that was. <laughs> so, uh -huh. today. Ooh. Oh, this is the streaky. It's Streaky's tight ass. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Streaky Audio is back with another plugin to simplify your mixing woes. Um, what was the first one called we looked at? I've forgotten now. No, I've forgotten as well. I've forgotten. Anyway, the colour box, that was it. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a simplified EQ thing for your master bus. This is Streaky Audio's tight ass, mm -hmm. which is for tightening up your bottom end. Okay. He, su sense. he suggests you put it just before your limiter on your master bus. Ah, now I now because we were just looking at what it does. We were which just I'm looking sure at you're what gonna it go does. through. Now yes. that makes a bit more sense. Yes. Yeah, so this this is a weird one. I, I downloaded the trial, which I didn't have to go through the same rig and roll as I moaned about last time because I've already signed up to the streaky audio thing, so I do get, you know, my regular emails and all the rest of it you get. Um so yeah, downloaded the demo, started playing with it. Wasn't really sure what the hell was going on. It was one of those. This control on the left that says tight or loose. I could sort of tell that that was scooping something out the bottom. You know, you, you just, here we go. I knew that. Gonna happen. <laughs> the second it left my lips. I was just thinking, you wouldn't call it a loose ass, would you? And then you said, <laughs> then you scoop something out the bottom. The bottom end of the EQ. Yeah, I yes. know, I know. But yeah, it, it's 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 doing something. I could tell it was scooping the bottoms. It was it was getting rid of some low end to, to make it tighter. Make it slap. Make it slap. <laughs> just, you want to slap the bottom? We're, we're going to have trouble on this one. I can see it coming. Uh, the big streaky S button, that has two settings. I was kind of like... Mm. Ah. One of those settings appeared to do the same as that control did on the left. Wasn't sure what the other one was doing. Mm. And the one at the other end... Again, I was like, well, that appears to, appears to be boosting the stuff I took out or cutting it. Yeah. So I was a bit confused. However, persevered, played with it on a bunch of tracks, and it does do what it says. Mm. It, you you do have the controls you need, by, even though it's not incredibly clear what they're doing, mm. by messing with them, you can tighten up the bottom end on a track that has a bit of a not-so-great low end. Mm. So does what it says. Yes. And... It's not too difficult to get a good low end with this. It, it, it does do what it says. I did then put it into Plugin Doctor. To find out what it's actually well, just, doing. I was really confused. Quite often it's it's a bit mm. obvious and it wasn't. I was a bit suspicious. I'm like, well, this is just a... This is like the bottom end of a Poltec. Mm. It's what it sounds like. Uh, and sure enough... Sure enough, I mean, it kind of is. So the S button, it has two settings. The first setting is absolutely a 50 hertz high pass. Mm -hmm. That's what it does. The second setting isn't that. Um, I think it might add like a resonant filter to mm -hmm. it. It adds something more to the low end rather than just cutting out the bottom of it. The control on the left, the tight, loose control, some of the time, that is 100 hertz low shelf. Yeah. I mean, you're playing with your bottom and you're thinking tighter, tighter, <laughs> tighter. Is that... I don't want to think about you playing with your looser, bottom. Looser, looser. <laughs> this was always going to be a tricky one to get through. Uh, and then the control at the other end, which goes from minus 10 to plus 10. Uh, when the streaky button is depressed, it acts, or not depressed rather, it acts as a 50 hertz bell filter, I think. And then when it's selected the other way, it acts as a low shelf. Mm. which is also what the other end does. Mm. So I'm like, I don't, yeah, I don't really know what's going on. And compression-wise, I wasn't sure there was much going on, but at some points, I, I was like, well, it is compressing. Anyway, plug-in doctor, sh and obviously there's the fast and slow control down the bottom, so it must be compressing. And it is, but there is, there's not like a traditional threshold or anything like that. It just, at certain combinations of these settings, it will compress mm. more than less. Tight, loose, fast, yeah. slow. You make your own mind up. <laughs> kind of, exactly. I think you just mess... There's not many controls to mess with, and at some point, it will sound yeah. better. I'm a tight and fast sort of a chap, I think. <laughs> I'm a slack and slow kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> Very lazy. <laughs> um, but I, 
I I got admit I kind of did enjoy messing with it. I I think <laughs> here we go. We just we ruined it. Should we bail out now? <laughs> Sorry, come on. You did enjoy messing around with it. I did enjoy messing around yeah. with it. No, I did. I did. Yeah. Well, so, you know, some people do, some people don't. Some that's people do, some people don't. That's the thing about plugins. That and, is. And the, bottoms. There you go. Um, what I would say is that I think it doesn't help you to not know what you did to make something better. And although you can, you might know, well, when I put that there and that there and push that, it mm. sounds better. Mm. I would rather know what that meant. Yeah, but that's, I don't think that, that it clearly isn't what the they are going for, are they? No, they're, it's not. They're looking no. at a quick fix. Either you're a young or new producer that's, yes. that's got problems with their bottom. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, and and this is clearly what Streak is sort of doing. He's making plugins yeah. that do that fix a, a constant, you know, or, or, or an obvious issue. Yes. In a in a very simple way. Yes. I, and and for that, it hundred percent works. And mm. as long as you always have access to this, you'd be mm. able to repeat that. Oh, you have got to have access to a bottom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's always good to have access to a tight ass <laughs> on a regular basis. Um, yeah, I mean, personally, I would rather have a compressor and a Poltec yeah. and deal with it that way and then mm -hmm. know what I've done and be able to repeat it on similar yeah. sounding tracks. But I do understand the benefits of having something like this. And is there a demo? Uh, there is a demo, yeah, 14 days. Brilliant. Which is, which is decent. Yeah. So uh, and what do you think about the look of it? We were talking about GUIs and stuff. Well, I think it, exactly because you've got to understand what where, where it's being aimed, you know, and obviously yeah. Streaky does a lot of these videos and instructional he stuff. Does, and, yeah. and I think... It, it, you know, it looks simple. It's obviously got meters and stuff on it. Yeah. It's got a, a glowing blue button, a neon blue button, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, I for, like it. for what it is, it works for me, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good interface. I don't often like modern interfaces. I no. prefer the ones that look yeah. like old gear, but as modern interfaces go, I do mm. like this one. Mm. Price-wise, $67, mm. which I think... That's, that's all right. Mm -hmm. I thought the colour box was a bit pricey for what it did, but this, I think, is a much better... Yes, yeah. I mean, I'd never price. buy it, not in a million years. No, but you don't need to. No, exactly, you know, that's it. But, you know, I it will clearly sell a few of these. I think you will. And again, you, you, once we look, we were looking at it on Plug-in Doctor and we were looking at the shelves and stuff, yeah. uh, but you can see that if you put that in before your limiter, yeah. how it would tighten up your bottom end. A hundred percent. And it does all the things that you'll, you know, you learn eventually what you need to do. Okay, so, uh, Mr. V. Yes. Um, is, <laughs> is Streaky's tight ass? Shit. <laughs> no, Streaky's got a good tight ass. He's got <laughs> I never ever wanted to say that, but there you go. That's what happens. Okay, good. So we 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 like. We like, I think. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? I didn't have a massive issue with the other one, apart mm. from it was overpriced for yeah. what it did. Yeah. This is a much better price point. Well, he's clearly listened to us then, hasn't he? I doubt it, but you never know. You never know. Okay, good stuff. Okay, please. Um, before you go and uh, try a tight ass, please like the video. <laughs> yeah, and if you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be handy. And you could become a channel member now where you can watch videos a little bit earlier and you get access to one free master with me worth 50 quid a month. Excellent. Instagram, Studio Life 101, merch store, all that other stuff. Links are just down below. So until next time, sayonara suckers. Adios.